will be exiled style after all, so he does spank up on that um, damage instead. Obviously will give the team a lot of pushing power as well. Oh, Shadow Demon gets hit by a long range um, arrow, and it looks like he will be just left alone as the power ring is there. Like, okay guys, leave me alone, I got hit by an arrow, I'm dead. And uh, they don't want to waste any time. So, five minutes. Apparently it does happen now, they do have the toss available as well, they will go for the toss just straight up in the air trying to do some damage and the Fonya is taking a lot of harassment, he will be dropped down, no fairy fire on him and he didn't want to pop the healing cell expect, uh, seeing all those um, range creeps shoot at Alright, mid lane once again, if I'm getting jumped on, he will be tossed back to the range creep and this looks a little bit dangerous for him as he will be slowed up, they will be blocking him as much as possible and that will be the secondary kill on him as um, Luna just instantly goes for pause and disconnects the last time around I, mean, I, I believe. Alright, we do have a soundtrack coming online as the Conquer the Shadow Team, they do find a go onto Insania, the other Titan in the jungle as he's trying to continue the work of the IO and in the meantime in the mid lane we do have a Fonya almost getting killed. 300-400 net uh, experience lead and a 1500 net worth lead. Alright, top in, Sunstrike does come on to Solitude. Solitude just getting level 6 off from one creep and he does go for that Chronosphere. We do have the Tiny going in, getting a double hit onto the two heroes from Power Rangers. The Luna as well as the Shadow Team will be taken down. TP out from the Conquer will be success. It's very hard It's very hard to expect that to happen now in the bottom lane. We do have Jonathan Fam on the Mirana. He already used his sleep so he doesn't have any way to actually survive this. We do have Treasure Cat getting that kill but he actually dies himself. As uh, J4 tries to help him with that smoke usage, getting him out of vision, but the tower shot still landed, and he's still needing a lot more gold to be able to get it. So um, this is not the best game for an invoker. He will catch up eventually, but um, it's a very slow start. And in the bottom end, we do have the conquer dropping down as the uh, Mickey shows off the shows off the fancy new t uh, blink dagger, and we'll be able to some rotations to come from Power Rangers as they want to be able to spot out if there's anyone in the back lines. But they do make the jump in, and Big Num will be taken down. He goes for the boat as well just to make sure that he gets whatever he can off. Obviously, the boat cooldown is not that long; it's only 60 seconds, so using it doesn't really matter. Even though they locate gank from Team Doge, they didn't lose anything. So at least they will still be in it. And now the X mark will be used on Jonas on making some fan. He will be controlled up. Chronosphere comes online as Mickey gets control of the Forge Spirits will be killing him as he's not even able to get one single spell off. And that was the Chronosphere being used as well. Now the uh, John, uh, now we have Solitude a little bit in trouble. He will time walk himself away and Power Rangers. They got one kill on a very, very big uh, value target. Now the Blink Deck initiation from the Bad Rider will come in. Treasure Cat getting the jump onto Solitude. Solitude will be controlled up quite a lot but they don't get the so they don't get the soundtrack to actually hit on him so they didn't get the kill because of that um, a little bit unfortunate and now in the back lines we do have the bad rider treasure cat dropping down Mirana getting the kill with the double star storm but it looks like he will give up his life for that so off laner for off laner as uh, i guess overall that's a fairly even trade um it is going to the favor that fight to power rangers obviously because they got the kill it will get out just fine and now in the mid lane the initiation may happen as that will be a nice toss onto Goddamn. The Air Sprinter will come through, the Chronosphere will come as well as that will be three people caught in the Chronosphere. J4 will be the target, they will be able to get that kill as he will drop down very very quickly. They get his ultimate off, Conker dropping very low, the Echo Stomp will complete the kill on him and Goddamn got caught in the, Cro in the Echo Stomp as well so he will be followed up on and they will get the kill on him as well. It looks a little bit sloppy there from Team Doge but they do manage to find the kills putting pressure as they will be moving up forces into the top area oh treasure cat almost getting the jump onto the tiny he will get a jump onto the tiny in the end they don't have a relocate available for the next 15 seconds so mickey he's on his own as he will be controlled up the air comes in tries to help him a little bit as the cold snap will be doing so much damage to him that will be mickey dropping down slowly and surely as he's trying to get out but he will not succeed doing so the air will drop down as well so that will be a two for one price as afonia gets both of those kills and the invoke getting the kills is super important Rangers right now and um, the Luna will slowly transition into physical damage as well but before he has like a, a mantle plus maybe a Scotty or something like that a butterfly he won't be doing too much magical da physical damage top lane the other Titan does find his way to the grave as the shadow demon sets up for the conquer boat so a nice little pick off there the lasso was used as well and now in the jungle goddamn he is found by Mickey on the tiny but uh, Tiny doesn't want to continue going as the Shadow Demon will be the target. Relocate back and now Jonathan Fam on the Marana. He's left all alone. 
Uh, sad relocate back was a little bit unfortunate, but you know, you, you, you can't leave the tiny hanging as when the IO goes back, then the tiny has to go. We've seen the X mark come into great effect against people getting relocated, but I imagine that will that will happen later on. A fun in the bottom lane does get relocated onto by Doge as they do find a way to get that kill. They do still have the Chronosphere available, and Solitude, he will instantly go for the Chronosphere even though Battery tried to get the false off to pop the Lincoln Sphere and then instantly follow up with the lasso. Didn't happen as Treasure Cat will be taken down. Solitude doesn't get his time walk out. A scar time goes in, gets the eclipse off, and now Mickey will be controlled. He doesn't have the ability to use the blink. The BKB was an item choice in the end, as he did manage to managed to survive against the invoker quite nicely because of that and now got them getting control of very nicely down here he will be killed by doge as mickey gets a triple kill for himself we do have big num using the x mark as well and he goes forward he goes for the torrent as well and now he's trying to escape but that will not happen as the big boy gets thrown on him by mickey so a one for four trade actually a one for five trades erase that statement so regardless as uh, you know He's not on the Invoker's um, farm when it comes to the full-on net worth, but he's getting close. And uh, with the Mirana also having a lot of farm all of a sudden as he's been split pushing the whole game. Um, he just got killed in the top lane as Power Rangers, they found a way to get him. Um, so he will probably go Manta into BKB. Alright, top lane, we do have Mickey trying to get a kill onto J4. J4 is scouted out, he's controlled, and he will be killed. Even though the relocate back happened from IO, he didn't take back the tiny. And now, in the back lands, we do have Bignum getting killed by Solitude. Almost dropping down, a Solitude will be controlled up. But he does get the time walk away, he will be lassoed back in. But the uh, uh, the Eclipse is already running out. And Gardam will be taken down as Mickey goes in with the BKB. Solitude tries to get another kill going as uh, Treasure Cat is just flame breaking. Alright, let's see. The Invoker in the top lane, they are trying to make a rotation. Oh, this time they get the last jump onto Solitude. Can they burst him down though? And they, yes, indeed they can. As Luna gets in there, gets these clips off, and they will be able to get the kill onto the faces void. They will be able to get in Sanya as well. They do have the Tempition after all, and now with the relocate in, Io gets X marked up, gets some strike up as well. That will be a third one, and Doge will be losing Mickey as well by the looks of things. He will be popping as BKB trying to survive this, but it looks like this is maybe a little bit too difficult. As they go in on Treasure Cat, they get the initiation off on him, and they will be able to finish off Mickey he does not get that blink away that will be a four for nothing trade as power Rangers they're moving on they want to go high ground getting the ages is usually the go-to thing and this just goes to show that both teams they can they can kill the other and on the bottom lane we do have once again treasure cat getting a beautiful initiation this time it will be on the IO they do have the flame break available as well so the relocate is a little bit null and void to use and the IO will drop down in the end we do have Mickey he is in this up he will not be found just yet but they do have a vision of Sol solitude Mickey goes in PKB will be popped we do have Johnson fan following up they will get the kill onto the shadow demon and big got them will be taken down with that double tap from Mickey and now we do have the sunset coming through we do have the meteor being used as well as that will cover for the escape of the conquer getting that TP out so power in this they will take that and uh, they will back themselves up almost 2,000 gold going to the side um, just so you can at least get that heal to work out pretty well Alright, Lasso will be used onto the IO. Sunstrike comes through as well, as they will be able to flame break him as well. That will stop the tether from being used, and IO is very, very low right now. We do have the arrow coming through, actually hitting onto Treasure Cat, and they will do a lot of damage to him. He will be brought down, the gem will be on the ground, as Treasure Cat does not get the. Um, does not get a chance to use his. We have a vision of Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Fam. He does have the blink available in one second. He will get it off and he will be fine. But now, once again, the engage. Afanya will be tossed right into a chronosphere. They try to kill him right off the bat. Echo Storm will come through and the, uh, and the Invoker will be taken out. That's a lot of the damage gone and now we do have mickey getting taken down by Gotham with that eclipse being used and sanya will take a lot of damage as well remember the gem is on Gotham, so he's the one controlling the vision the shadow demon got killed in the back lines and now solitude will be the last one standing with his team as big Nam will be taken down we do have jonathan fans doing a lot of burst damage there and now got them he's the only one there as doge i mean they don't have too many spells left to work with as all of the support heroes have used up most of their mana reserves but they will find Gotham. they will get the engagement going on him satanic will be popped and he's trying to survive him himself as he knows he's a little bit in trouble he will try and just fight this out and uh, he's still alive he hasn't used the ages yet and he really does not want to be uh, forced to commit the ages so doge they say okay we want the fight we don't want to overcommit for something that we probably can't get and uh, they will take the trade 1500 gold going I'm trying to keep him healed and ready to go as a bad rider he's thinking about it and let's see who he goes on as the insanity will be forced away as he's trying to make sure that no one initiates 
on um, Doge's side and Power Rangers, they have got them a little bit in danger. He will turn around as Solitude will be gone on. He's taking a lot of damage. He will not be able to use his Chronosphere. Time Walk will be used. He tries to survive, but he does get taken back in. He does get killed off and that will be Power Rangers all alive. They're trying to get more kills. Insania will try and force the jump going. God damn, will be taking a lot of damage. He still does. He does have that Aegis on him gone now as well as he used it a second earlier. Jump sometime getting taken down very quickly as God damn. He's healing up very nicely with that Satanic, but now he is not having the Satanic um, ability uh, available anymore. And God damn, will be taking down the Shadow Demon. Will be quick to follow as Solitude finishing quite a lot as he's sitting on 15,000 net worth. And now the Smoke Gang will be spotted out by Insania. He's trying to survive it, but that will be an easy lasso kill as uh, those. Doge, they do lose that ET. We even have the BKB being committed by the Bat Runner. He now takes away the vision from Doge as well. Down the Luna will be able to pick it up so they don't get the sneak there, uh, which could have been the beautiful play, but the time didn't have a slot for it. So a little bit unfortunate. They will get a jump onto Gardan though. The Chronosphere will be committed. The Aegis will be popped instantly. So a little bit in trouble. We'll get the time walk away, but oh, but he time walks right into a Meteor. That's not what you want. As Solitude will be taken down, now Mickey getting disrupted up, getting controlled, he will be taken down as well, two people down on Doji's side, and that is your two biggest calls, which we have a phone, you're playing a little bit with the food, as uh, in the mid lane taken down. Jonathan fans trying to make a turnaround. He does get the arrow onto Afonia. Afonia does get a couple of star storms onto him. He does get taken down. And now Jason. Hey uh, Jonas, sorry. Does get back a little bit. He will survive for now. And Sanya taking a lot of damage. Will be ticked down. As the Shadow Demon does get the kill. Instant buyback from the Yellow Titan as well. Now now the final has the final hold will happen. As neither the Tiny nor the Faces Squad has any buybacks available. So very, very unfortunate. God damn. Takes a lot of damage from Jonas, but it's just not enough. And now the IO Sun Strike will be missed. But IO very much in danger. He's the only one standing here. As he will be taken down as well. Tether will be used. And he actually survives. But now we do have Treasure Cat trying to go in and get the kill on him. Guardian Goose will be popped and he's still surviving. And the Ancient in the meantime will be taken down slowly and surely as the Invoker will finish the game.